Oh no! What is that sound? Oh no! The mega zombie! He's going to eat everyone! Everyone run for your lives! <laughs> okay, well... I don't know, we're not gonna need this guy right now, so let's throw him away. See you, buddy. Anyway, hello everyone, Fudgy here, and welcome back to some more Tiny Town VR. In today's episode, we are going to be making a King Kong-styled scene, but instead of having a giant ape or King Kong, we're gonna have a giant zombie climbing the Empire State Building, and then we're gonna have fighter jets trying to take him out. And the scene is gonna look absolutely epic when we're finished with it, and I am very much looking forward to doing this. Now, quite a few of you guys actually suggested this, so we're gonna get started straight away. Now, to begin with, we need to pick a zombie that's gonna be our mega zombie. Now, I often use the weightlifters, um, such as this guy down here, but, well, this guy, he's a pretty small mega zombie to uh, the one over here, as you can see by the military base, which, by the way, we did in the last episode. So if you wanna check it out, feel free to do so. I have a playlist in the description below where you can watch everything we've done here. Now. There is still quite a lot of work to do. As you can see, I need to fill in the gaps over there. We'll do that uh, soon enough. <laughs> so this little fella is going to be our mega zombie. Now, he really is going to be gigantic. Now, I think that's actually a pretty good size because, you know, I don't want him to be like like this big because, you know, he's basically bigger than the building. Let's head by it. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we'll keep him this size. I think this is a pretty good size. So let's go ahead and add him to the building right now. Maybe he can have a plane in his in his hands or something. So this is a giant zombie. For whatever reason, he's climbed the Empire State Building. Okay, so let's bring it in. We gotta try and make it. I think that looks really good how he's kind of like on each level there. Looks like he's reaching out for a jet. Now remember to leave your suggestions in the comment section down below because I probably will add them in eventually. Alright, so if we go over to airport, we can actually get our jets in. So let's go ahead and add this guy. Oh, that looks so cool. So maybe we could be reaching out for him. That looks really cool actually. I like that. So we're going to need some more jets, of course. Swooping in around. Man, we are literally just jumping straight into this scene today. This is awesome. In fact, let's throw a plane at him. I don't know why, but I just love throwing <laughs> planes in this game. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so we're actually going to do quite a lot to this building. It's not just going to be the mega zombie on the top. We're probably going to have some other, like, zombies maybe climbing it as well. So let's go ahead and add that in. Now, I'm not too sure why they're climbing the building. Maybe there's something up there that's attracting them. <gasps> I know what could be attracting them up there. It's this cow right here. Let's, let's just leave it there anyway. So I think it would be pretty cool to have zombies climbing now. Who knew zombies were such good climbers, eh? Alright, we're gonna have this business guy. He's gonna be in the middle here. Now, this is not a zombie. This is someone trying to escape. And he's actually slowly making his way down <laughs> by climbing in between right there. Easy does it now, fella. There we are. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Now, I think we should also have some soldiers. Um, by the way, when I say soldiers, of course, I do mean the riot police because there are no soldiers on this game at the moment. So I think we should have some people try and defend the Empire State Building from the zombies as well. So maybe this guy's got a gun. He's aiming at this dude. Not too sure. It's basically like a, um, just one big building fight going on, which is going to be really cool. There we are. We've got one soldier now. It's going to be one big building firefight. And of course, we're going to have some fire trucks down here. They've been called over. They know what's going on, even though it's a zombie apocalypse. We're going to have some SWAT vans here, some police cars, try and defend the building. Whoa, check it out. This is <laughs> one huge building. Let's actually climb the building. <sighs> oh no, <laughs> I broke it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's keep climbing. I really like that guy in the middle, it looks really cool. <gasps> what if we add a chicken on his back? Maybe this guy, he has a pet chicken. He was in the building when this all happened, and he wants to try and save it. So he's slowly making his way down. All right, let's go ahead and put this guy into a position where he's attacking the zombie. Also, while I'm actually just doing this part here, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys because you guys seem to really enjoy the series and giving me lots of support on it. So thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. And that being said, if you do want to keep up with the Tiny Town series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on and also drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I will be posting more very soon, so if you do subscribe, that way you won't miss out.
But yeah, it's been absolutely awesome the last few like weeks. Ugh, it just oh, there we go. So yeah. Oh, let's give him a guitar to uh, maybe smack him with. But yeah, it's been absolutely awesome. Right, businessman, take him out with a guitar. Yeah. But yeah, I got quite a lot of suggestions from you guys to do this. Just like have like a, a giant zombie. I think originally a lot of the comments were saying about adding King Kong. But there's no real like ape or monkeys to use in the workshop unless we use a giant puppy. But no, that's not going to work. I think it'll be cooler. Anyway, it, it kind of sticks with our zombie thing we've got going on everywhere with the zombie apocalypse. So this is definitely a good way to go, I think. Let's have one guy right at the top, shall we? No one knows how we got there. But maybe there can be a helicopter. He's trying to get its help. Maybe this dude was trying to escape the mega zombie. He climbed all the way to the top here. And then he's calling in for help from this helicopter here. Hopefully it'll come in for help. Man, this scene is looking so cool already. All right, so this is a suggestion I got. And it's to add a zombie on the back of a plane. But I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to add it to this jet right here in the scene. So what's happened is because obviously the military base is being overrun by zombies right now. And maybe a jet went to take off and didn't realize that there's a zombie still attached. So we're going to go ahead and add that in right now. There we are. So thank you to this person for the suggestion. Remember, if you want to leave your suggestions, to leave them in the comment section down below. I have no idea how he's still gripping on right now, but he is. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's really cool, actually. Wait, his arm should be more, like, stretched out, I think. That zombie's got some good grip right there. Wait, I think it's time we add some zombie clowns. So this poor lady right here is about to be attacked by a zombie clown, but fortunately... She's pretty feisty, and she's going to use her purse right here to hit him. All right, this guy, he's trying to defend the cow from the zombies. He's got his weapon out. And yes, that is a goat. And yes, that is a farmer riding the goat. Now, let's go ahead and give him a handgun, shall we? There we go, just reduce it down in size and place. All right, looking awesome. That's, oh, nope. There we go. Look how cool that looks. Now... I'll be honest, a lot of this scene doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't know why there'd be a goat with a, a farmer riding it on the building like this. You, you know, there's a lot of things going on which don't really make sense. But this is Tiny Town and we can do what we like. So, yeah. <laughs> this building is already looking super cool. Oh, I love doing like little things like this because the last few episodes I've just been working on such big projects such as the military base, the prison over there, the airport, which is absolutely gigantic. So it's nice to just like kind of work in one area, I guess. That being said, I think we do need to make uh, or add more to the city. So let's just add this layer in here because we're going to add some more buildings in the background because it looks a little bit plain right now. So let's go ahead and add all the way across here. I'm actually really excited to see what this place is going to look like in a few weeks time. Um, because hopefully all the little gaps you see around the place, the bits that aren't exactly very detailed, should eventually be really detailed. I hope so anyway. So let's go ahead and add these in now. I feel like this road will be cut off here. So if we add them along this row here. Put 45 degrees on. We can put these on as well. All right, maybe we should get rid of this bit actually because we're going to make the road go along this part here. And wait, actually, let's have this one because the road can continue, I guess. And place that there. Now we have the road going all the way along. Oh, not like that. My bad. There we are. Whoop, whoop. All right, there we go. So we've added an extra row of buildings now. I don't really like this one too much. So let's change this around for something else, shall we? Yeah, I think that'll look much better if we have this. All right, this has to be done. We need to have someone skateboarding or something around here. Maybe we can have a guy skateboarding down the building. Let's have it. So he's, a <laughs> he's about to do the world's biggest drop-in from the Empire State Building. All right, who's going to be our skater? This person is going to be our skateboarder. There we are. Going in for the world's biggest drop-in. <laughs> Maybe we should add a ramp to the bottom or something. So, yeah. Not too sure how anyone could survive that. But um, we'll leave it in there anyway. All I can say is good luck. And, of course, we've got to have the oblivious person unaware of what's going on. There he is, just eating a hamburger. Alright, so one of the people that escaped from prison has turned into a zombie here. Now he's climbing the building. And we've got this guy. He's ready 
to hit him down when he uh, when he comes up. So, oh no, we have an army of them now. I didn't mean to do that. I think we should add another prison zombie here climbing up. Yeah, I really have no idea how how these zombies got so good at climbing, but well, I guess they did. Oh no, the zombies, they're on their way. <laughs> okay, we should have uh, some guy with a handgun, maybe. He could be shooting down. He's trying to take out all the zombies that are climbing up. There we go. This guy right here, he's got his knife and he's defending himself from the zombie. There we are. Although the knife went through the camera. I think we should have a zombie actually falling from the building. So maybe this old woman here, she's very good at defending herself. So this is the last zombie she got into a, uh, a fight with. And now he's falling from the building looking good all right so this guy he's almost made it down to this level but he's gone for a little bit of a different tactic to this dude here he's uh, doing like the splits for some reason but hey you can do what you like i guess but yeah check it out the scene is looking pretty cool there is a lot going on i'm actually really really enjoying this just getting straight into the action and just adding all the people and the carnage i think this looks really good you know what i think we should have a tourist Maybe just taking pictures <laughs> of the uh, the mega zombie. He's not really scared. Now, he has got a camera right there, as you can see, but he's going to have another one in his hands, which doesn't really make much sense, but I guess he has two cameras. And there's the other camera. Let's go ahead and zoom into our scene a little bit. And there we are. <laughs> he's taking pictures and recording everything that's going on. Let's see what he can see, shall we? So that's what he's taking a picture of. Not much. Goodbye. Um, so you got this guy here. He's kind of enjoying what's going on. He's got his popcorn with him, which looks pretty cool. Now, I think it's time we add a plunger scene. So this is going to be the guy who's going to be plunging a zombie in the head. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. And here's our zombie. We go ahead and rotate it round. And then we'll add the plunger to his head like that. There we go. <laughs> He's plunging a zombie in the head. Good stuff. You know, I think we need some more fighter jets surrounding the area. So let's get a different actual jet, shall we? So let's go for... Let's get this one. Now, we already have so many jets in the sky, as you can see. But this is the zombie apocalypse. And, well, the military, they've basically sent all their jets, or they're going to eventually. So there's plenty in the sky, as there is. And then we've got this guy coming in as well. Alright, we got ourselves a sniper. Defending the Empire State Building, or at least trying to. And, of course, we have to add the, let me go to town, an old man hanging from the building it has to be done we have an old man in pretty much every scene we've done so far somebody help me please all right we've got a boxer here maybe we can have the boxer guy trying to help the old guy up but because he's got his boxing gloves on he can't really do much about it there we go that looks pretty good the worst guy <laughs> to possibly help him up with his gloves on all right so check it out now we haven't really done much detail elsewhere we kind of left everywhere else at least we got this I have a row of buildings now, so we can add to uh, add some more detail to them in the future. But check it out, because we are pretty much done here. We have the mega zombie trying to attack the jets, and the fighter jets are fighting back. We have this dude up there for some reason. I don't know what he's doing, but I guess he's trying to call for help. And then we have the, uh, the zombie hanging on the back of the jet uh, from one of you guys. That was a suggestion. And yeah, there is just so much going on. It is absolute carnage, and I love it so much. So, yeah. <laughs> I just love the plunge scene as well. It's so good. Oh, uh, but I will be adding more to this soon. I'm going to add and just add so much detail to the whole world eventually. And I'm probably going to do an episode where I just do your guy's suggestion, and that's it. So, make sure you leave all your suggestions down below what you want to see in the world. And I'll make sure to dedicate a whole episode just doing that and i think that'll be a lot of fun but uh yeah i think we've actually done a really good job today we've got a bunch of zombies climbing up uh there's a lot of action going on this guy is stabbing this zombie he's gone through his camera this guy is not aware of anything that's going on he's got his headphones on or his ear protectors or whatever it is and the zombie prisoner coming up so yeah there's a lot going on i mean there's a lot more we could add as well which i probably will eventually but i think for now this is actually uh 
pretty much finished for now, yeah. So, I think I'm actually going to end this episode right here. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did believe in a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link for both in the description below. Oh, and also, uh, the shirt I'm wearing right now, if you want to check it out, the link for that will be in the description below. But yeah, I'm going to finish up here. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.